in Oldham has turned its entire roof into a solar-powered generator. It's not only cutting the energy bills of the company based there, it's also making them money. But will the government's plan to cut the subsidies for solar power take the shine off a power source that's good for business and the environment? Here's Dave Guest. Born Trading designs, imports and distributes clothing. It works out of Devon Mill in Oldham. Heating and lighting this five-storey, 100-year-old building eats money. Power costs are going up all the time. I'm paying £25,000 roughly a year in electricity costs and I have a resource on the roof. He's right. The roof is a big resource, big enough to house more than 600 solar panels. These panels also earn money for David. He's paid for every kilowatt he produces through something called the feed-in tariff. It's organised by the government, but the cash comes from the energy companies. The sheer scale of this scheme means that the feed-in tariff should generate around £35,000 a year for David's business. On top of that, surplus energy generated here and fed back into the national grid should bring in another £3,500 from his energy supplier. But the feed-in tariff payments will be lower for new installations because of changes ordered by the government. Obviously the tariff is, has been reduced, um, but the capital equipment and cost is also reduced, which still makes it a very viable commercial project. Do you see yourself now as uh, an evangelist, really, trying to convert more businesses to do this? Well, I'm hoping that other businesses will take up the opportunities that we've taken. And with so many former mill buildings, with so many acres of roof space, David believes this region could lead a solar-powered revolution. Dave Guest, BBC Northwest Tonight, Oldham. Sun there, oh, exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. It always helps have a bit of sunshine. We didn't get a lot of that today, did we?